tutorial shows you an overview of Cloudburst features, going through operating modes, data filtering, data output, combo, GPO, system, and network configuration. Cloudburst offers a set of pre-configured operating modes, depending on what reading system is being installed. The Expert mode allows to set every perimeter available, giving you the maximum flexibility to set up your custom RFID installation. If you are deploying a data mask reading system like a tabletop, you just need to select the corresponding operating mode. This automatically configures the reader to provide the best reading performance, avoiding the hassle to set every single parameter. Cloudburst offers a set of filters to pre-process RFID data like code masks. For additional info, see the online help. When it comes to data output, you can format the output string to match your needs. For example, you can add a prefix or a suffix and additional tag information or cut the EPC code. If needed, a delay between tag codes can be enabled in the Delay Between Tag Code section. You can enable reading activity messages, which are useful to let the upper software layer know what the status of the reading system is. And you can select the desired output interface and protocol. We'll cover this topic in detail in the next tutorial. Cloudburst offers a combo mode to allow a smooth migration from the old LF or HF technology to the new UHF RFID with perfect coexistence. In this scenario, the UHF reader and Cloudburst behave as a master, collecting the LF or HF data, merging them together with the UHF data and sending them out to the selected output interfaces. To set up a combo installation, Disconnect the serial cable from the HF or LF reader. Connect the two readers together with the DataMars combo cable. Reconnect the serial cable to the UHF reader. Cloudburst offers two combo modes, continuous and triggered. In continuous mode, Cloudburst mixes the UHF and LF or HF codes, avoiding collisions. In triggered mode, Cloudburst sends out UHF, LF or HF codes only at the end of a reading window, defined by the start and stop of the UHF reader. Depending on the selected collision policy, Cloudburst will send out UHF or LF or HF codes. If there's no active reading window, Cloudburst behaves like in continuous mode. Additional combo mode parameters are described in the online help. Cloudburst manages the general purpose outputs to simplify the laundry automation related to tag readings or reader activity status. The digital output of the GPIO connector allows to drive an external device. In this example, a light turns on when a tag is read. In the system menu, there are settings such as time or date, the raw TCP or IP socket port, the serial port board rate, the password change field, the configuration management tool that allows you to download the Cloudburst configuration file, upload a previously downloaded configuration file to restore it, or to restore the factory default. The information about the reader, the license section to load the Cloudburst license, and the reboot button. Under the Network tab, it's possible to easily change the Reader Ethernet interface configuration without dealing with any command line.